A German launch startup is starting from scratch again after this massive fireball during a test firing Monday evening. This video is incredible, and yes, of course we want things to go right, but in the beginning of any testing, things can and oftentimes will go wrong in the rocket world. This happened at a spaceport in Scotland, and this is the first stage of rocket factory Osberg's first orbital launcher, which was unfortunately destroyed during this test firing. RFA was actually looking to send their first rocket into space later this year, and it looked like they were the front runner in terms of their competitors in Europe's commercial space industry, which of course is not as robust as SpaceX. Their first rocket is named RFA-1, and over the last few months, they delivered all three stages of the rocket to a launch site at Saxaford Spaceport. And I would love to go to Saxaford one day. This is located on one of the Shetland Islands, and the rocket company we're talking about is based in Osberg, Germany. So this was a test firing of nine engines, and in a statement, RFA said there was, quote, an anomaly that led to the loss of the stage. Now, luckily, no one was injured. So don't feel bad if you enjoyed watching this fireball because the video just gets more intense and loud as we watch it. And another reason not to feel bad for maybe enjoying this explosion, the launch pad was saved and secured. But this was the same rocket that RFA wanted to launch on the first test flight that they were hoping to have later this year. So yeah, obviously this is a major setback and is gonna probably cause a delay. Maybe we won't see the first launch until 2020. 25. Now, in the video, it's almost instantly that you see a fireball around the bottom of the booster. RFA says they're still trying to resolve what happened. They're working closely with Saxaford Spaceport and authorities to gather data, and they need some time to analyze and assess the situation. But one of the things you might appreciate about RFA is that they also take the approach of rapid iteration. So they know that you have to do tests and expect failure to really learn and grow. They said, quote, they were aware of the higher risks attached to this approach. Now their rocket RFA-1 is also made of a stainless steel structure. Does that sound familiar? <coughs> Starship with nine helix engines that consume kerosene and liquid oxygen propellants on the first stage. So there's a difference from Starship. All nine engines will produce more than 200,000 pounds or about 900 kilonewtons of thrust at full power. Also, this setback will not only affect when they're going to launch for the first time, which will probably be delayed until maybe next year, but this also impacts the development costs. According to europeanspaceflight.com, looking into the company's most recent financial filings, the development of the RFA-1 rocket and the launch of its inaugural flight had an expected budget of around 90 million. Now there was a projection that 79% of that 90 million budget would have been utilized by the end of 2023. So now RFA is going to have to build a new first stage equipped with nine of those Helix rocket engines that were destroyed during the tests on Monday. So I'm expecting that they will have to go over budget to accomplish this. So while it's good that they're willing to test and blow things up, this is definitely a disappointment in more ways than one. And I hope that they're able to bounce back from this. Of course, if you're really team space, you want everyone to succeed. And it sounded like they were on the right track. Also kind of crazy to think about fully stacked, the rocket only stands 98 feet, which is nothing compared to Starship's 400 feet fully stacked. But of course, this is not a direct competitor to Starship. However, RFA-1 will be capable of delivering payloads up to 1.3 metric tons, that's nearly 2,900 pounds, into polar orbits. And here's a quick word from the sponsor of this video, Delete Me. I can't believe that my channel is over 100,000 subscribers. Yeah, I'm really proud to have that plaque in my office. And that means that more people are getting to know Ellie in space. And some people want to know me a little too much. 
Have you ever Googled yourself? Yeah, sometimes I Google Ellie in space and the searches are a little strange. I also found that there's a Reddit group dedicated to moi, which is actually kind of creepy. So with more exposure on the internet, I really need to keep my information safe. That's why for the past few months, I've been using Delete Me and they just completed their third report. So since February, 51 total listings have been removed. There are 36 data brokers with my personal info and they've reviewed almost 5,000 listings to make sure that my information, like my address, my cell phone, my email, other personal information is not on the internet. Sometimes these things leak and Google yourself, you may be surprised by what you find and maybe not in a good way. So how does Delete Me scrub your data? Well, here's how it works. Delete Me will submit removals from the data brokers which they find your information. And you get a privacy report showing each of the data brokers they've scanned, what they've found and what they're doing to remove your data. After they've submitted each opt-out, their privacy advisors go back and check each source again to make sure the information has actually been removed. And some listings will be gone more quickly than others. Slower data brokers can take weeks to honor requests. But that's why Delete Me runs multiple reports throughout the year. Remember, even after removals are complete, Google can take additional time to remove results from its search cache. New data brokers will be added to Delete Me's list as they appear, and they will submit opt-out removals from my personal information to the new ones. That's why a membership can be so beneficial and you might want to even get your family members involved because a lot of them are probably linked to you. So Delete Me just did a scan in June and they're going to be doing another one in August of this year. That'll be four reports in just 2024. I personally trust Delete Me and I feel much more secure knowing that my personal info won't be subjected to threats of harassment, identity theft, or even stalking. So you can get 20% off Delete Me's U.S. consumer plan by going to joindeleteme.com slash le20. So use promo code le20 to save 20% at checkout. That's joindeleteme.com slash le20 code le20. Thanks to Delete Me for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back into it. By the way, speaking of Starship, we're still unsure exactly when Flight 5 will be. I am still hopeful it's going to be sometime in September, but things are certainly busy down at Starbase. La Padre Space is a great source of everything going on down there at Starbase. As you can see, SpaceX have been doing a lot of work with the chopsticks, working the arms, their paces, running multiple tests. And of course, these are going to be the star of the show if SpaceX does, in fact, attempt to catch the booster on Flight 5, which they have talked about doing. But one of the things I think is truly incredible about SpaceX and the work down at Starbase is how fast they move. Look at this video. When I was down there and I did a tour of Starbase, they talked about how they were going to begin the work on the second tower. And we have two towers now, essentially. Yes, there's still some work being done, but who else moves this fast? Just just tell me that. It is truly insane to me the pace of the progress down at Starbase, and I'm really looking forward to going down there and seeing all the changes for myself in person. If you want to gear up for Flight 5 and celebrate Mechazilla, I am selling shirts in my store. The store is only open for about another 12 days before we close it and make sure that we get all of the orders out. So please consider ordering a shirt if you like this design and you want to support my channel. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.